what I want to talk about now, um, let's start handing out some money because I, I didn't hand out any money at all. For $20, I told you about that triangle from Perry Marshall and there was traffic conversion and for $20, what was it? Who said economics? Yeah, can we get it? Economics, right? Economics, which is? Okay, economics, right? The numbers, right? The revenue has to exceed whatever the expenses are. Just go and see Brian. Thanks. Thank you. Um, we need to make sure that this business model or this conversion or, or this website that we are sending traffic to is a vending machine that is going to give us more back than we put in, right? Otherwise, we go broke. So it's very, very important. The numbers are very important. And your conversion, like the difference between maybe 3% and 4% of your leads buying, okay, the difference between 3% leads buying and 4% leads buying can be the difference between the vending machine downstairs that eats your money and the one upstairs that prints money, okay? Literally that small. So this is what it all comes down to, the conversion model, the business model that you use. And that's what I want to talk to you a little bit about. Now, let's say I give you two options to make a million dollars. Okay, I say to you, I want you to go and make a million dollars and you've got two options. You can sell $10 eBooks or you can sell $10,000 coaching programs. How many $10 eBooks would you need to so I to get to a million dollars. 100,000, right? Which means you need to go and find 100,000 new customers. 100,000 new customers who want to buy that $10 ebook. Now, could you do that in this niche, in the internet marketing niche? Are there 100,000 people out there? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, you could do it. I have an ebook called I Am Revolution, which has sold maybe six, eight thousand, somewhere around that. It's not a huge amount, but still it's it's a decent amount. But you could find a hundred thousand people, but that's a lot of people still. Now on the other hand, if you're selling a ten thousand dollar coaching program, how many people do you need to go and find? One hundred, right? What do you think's easier? Getting a hundred people or getting a hundred thousand people? Now of course, selling to those 100 people, the $10,000 program, is it going to be harder to get a $10,000 sale than a $10 sale? Absolutely. But the big question is, is it going to be proportionately harder to get that $10,000 sale? The $10,000 transaction or the $10,000 sale is a thousand times bigger than the $10 ebook. Is it a thousand times harder though to get that sale? It's not even close. What I'm trying to sell you on here is the idea of selling high ticket programs or what we call top tier, okay? Very few people do this online. You go to ClickBank or you go to the Warrior Forum. You go to these places and they're selling very cheap products. They're selling products from $10 to a few hundred dollars at most. Okay, I see these products all the time for like seven dollars. It's really, it's just, it's, it's a joke because you need to get so many new customers to make any significant money that it's, it's almost not even worth doing it. So early on, I caught on to this idea of, hey, what if instead of trying to get all of these customers, I just focus on getting a few customers, but I increase the transaction size. I focused on making bigger and bigger sales. And that changed everything. Your own high ticket offer transforms the economics of your business more than anything else. Having a high ticket back end offer that is a hundred times the price of your front end product changes everything. And don't confuse the two, okay? A front end product is not there to make money. A front end product is there to acquire a customer. Okay, I have this little quote and I, I first heard from Dan Kennedy that I like. He says, the purpose of a customer is not to get a sale, but rather the purpose of a sale is to get a customer. That's like a writer downer. That's something you want to write down. 
Because that philosophy of, look, I'm not trying to make a sale here, I'm trying to get a customer that then I can follow up with to make the higher ticket repeat sales. That's, the, that's how you must do everything if you want to do well in this niche. That's how you must approach this. So your front-end products, like I have front-end products, like I Am Revolution. It's a $10 ebook. okay? Who here has read I Am Revolution? Well, let me ask, who here has not read I Am Revolution? It's a 65-page ebook. Would you like a copy? All right, let's hand out a copy. Brian, uh, if you guys can hand those out. We brought along a stack of them. <laughs> Last year, we, we brought like 500 of them, and uh, we've had this big stack that we're... We're trying to hand out, so this is good. You're going to get a copy of this ebook, okay? And it's like 65 pages. Now, this ebook, I want you to don't read it now while I'm talking, but read it during lunch, okay? <laughs> read it during lunch um, and examine it because this is one of our main front end products. We've sold, like I said, thousands of these for 10 bucks each, okay? So we haven't made a whole lot of money, but we've got a lot of customers with this ebook. But that's the purpose of the ebook. It's not to make us money, it's to simply get us customers. Okay? I don't they're going out the back, so I guess they're downstairs, but they'll bring them up and you'll get the ebook. Now, that's a front end product. Now, on the other hand, I have my back end programs. A back end program might be my apprentice program. That's fifty thousand dollars. Do you see the difference between a ten dollar transaction and a fifty dollar fifty thousand dollar transaction? How much bigger is a $50,000 transaction than a $10 transaction? $49,990. <laughs> no, I mean, like, how many, how many times bigger is it? <laughs> how, many, how many times bigger is it? It's like 5,000. Yeah, it's like 5,000 times. But that's good. It's a lot, it's a lot, lot bigger. Now, for all of those thousands of customers that come in, only a few get to the back end and buy the $50,000 program. But that one, one single sale of the $50,000 program far exceeds all the revenue brought in from selling thousands of these I Am Revolution $10 eBooks. That's what I want you to get here. Transaction size has a big impact on the kind of numbers that you're doing in this business. Most people in internet marketing aren't thinking big enough in terms of transaction size. They're selling cheap little products and that's why their income is very limited. Of all the revenue that we bring in, a huge portion of it is from selling our high ticket programs in the back end, range from $10,000 and upwards. Okay, that's, that's what I want you to get. Now, you might be wondering, well, that's, that's great for you, Matt, but you know, what about me? What am I going to offer people that's going to be worth thousands of dollars. Well, here's, here's a few ideas where you can start. And then I'll, I'll give you another alternative too. You can be doing coaching programs, for example. Okay, you can be doing coaching programs where you help people one-on-one. -on -one. And you might think, well, <clears throat> what do I know? You know, what do I know? I'm still new at this myself. I'm still learning this myself. Here's the deal. I mean, if you've been doing this for a few months and someone just got started yesterday, to them, you're an expert. To them, you know a lot. So, I mean, I had those kind of thoughts myself when I started doing coaching. I was like, well, who would want to learn from me? Like, what am I going to teach people? And it's really just, it's not so much about how much you know, it's really just about you getting comfortable in that role of teaching other people what you know and you getting comfortable with wearing that hat of being the expert, of being the coach, okay? Top tier business opportunities, I'll talk about that in just a moment. Done for you services, okay? So for example, we had a few programs we sold uh, about a month ago around $10,000 each. We sold about 10 of those. And what they were was a done for you service where I would co-create a webinar with someone to help them get more MOBE license right sales. Okay, MOBE license rights, that's our main program. That's a done for you service. So start thinking to yourself, what can I do that would help people um, what can I provide to people that would like, they'd be like, oh, great, I don't have to go and do that. I don't have to do all of that work. People love buying done for you. People don't want to do work. They just want the results. How do I just give someone their results? That's what they will pay big money for. 
Licensing other people's high ticket programs. That's also another shortcut. You don't have to go and create it. You have someone else's and you promote that instead. We'll talk about that in just a second. The first time I saw this, guys, let me tell you this story. I got started, like I said, in 2008. It's October 2008. And I respond to this ad. I pay $2,000 to this guy who's in a top-tier direct sales company. I pay $2,000 and I have no idea what I'm doing. Like literally no idea. I don't know anything about websites and it's all like I look at it and it just looks all really technical to me and it's very in intimidating. And I start trying to learn and, and figure this thing out. And then I learn that in this particular company, if you want to make the bigger commissions, they have two other levels, okay? And the commissions are much, much bigger. In fact, <coughs> I go to a conference in Sydney for this company. I still haven't made a sale at this point. And the founders are up there on stage and they're pitching these higher levels of this program. And everyone's coming up on stage saying, yes, I want on board. And there's like two or three people left in the audience at the end. And I was one of them. And I'm sitting there and I'm feeling this social pressure of everyone's up on stage and I'm like the, one of the few people out there in the audience. But I go home, I fly all the way back to Perth and I'm, I'm really thinking about, is this the right decision for me? And after a week of deciding, I think, well, look, I can either keep on going through life along this predetermined path, graduate, get a job, get a mortgage and so on, or... I can, I can have a go at being an entrepreneur. And the upside of being an entrepreneur was just infinite. And I thought, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the first in my family to actually go in and really try this. So I decide to invest. Now, what was happening around that time, early 2009? The economy was crashing, right? And the exchange rate between the US and Australia was really, really bad. So the investment was $25,000 US. Today, I would have to pay maybe 24,000 Australian. But back then, with the economy, it actually worked out to be $38,000 Australian. So almost, almost double. So that pretty much wipes me out. <clears throat> but I invest in this company because I like the idea of making these big high ticket commissions. Commissions were $1,000, $5,000 and $9,000 big commissions and it didn't quite work out how I thought it would I didn't start making the millions right away that I thought and I started doing what they told me to do I started you know trying to get leads and then calling my leads back and here I am I'm like 22 I have very little real life experience and I'm talking to people twice my age and I'm trying to tell them hey look I've got this business and you know I haven't made any money yet but it's got a lot of promise and it just wasn't, it wasn't working. No one was buying what I was selling. But I, like I said, I get my first sale after nine months of doing this for $1,000. And then something happens. Okay, I get my first sale, I get my second, I get my third at $1,000. I still haven't yet made those big commissions. But then one day I get this email. And this email, I blocked out the company name but this is the exact email and if you look closely you can see the date and the date is the 2nd of April 2nd of April 2010 okay not that long ago and this is telling me that one of the people in my organization have stepped up to the next level and also to there was actually two emails to the second level as well the the third level as well my commissions were $5,000 and $9,000 US, which worked out to be a little bit over $15,000 Australian. Now, keep in mind, up until this point, I'd had a few little $1,000 commissions, but as soon as the money came in, it went back out, okay? It went back out as fast as it came in. So I was constantly on edge of like financial ruin up until this point. And then suddenly, one day, $15,000 is coming into the bank account. And I just, I, I, here's, here's the deal, guys. Since that date, we've made around $4 million in revenue. And we've had days where we do, I think our best day is about $80,000 in revenue, uh, which isn't typical. You know, that's launches and stuff like that. 
but nothing up until now comes close to that moment. Even like days where we've done over $50,000, nothing comes close to that because that was the first time that I actually saw, I knew it was possible, but I didn't know whether it was possible for me. And that's when I first saw, hey, this actually works. And guess what that did to my economics? Now that I had $15,000 come in, do you think I had some funds available to go and get more traffic, to go and get more leads? Suddenly that opens up a lot of different options. Now I had money available to scale. Do you see what this does? Do you see when, when you have sales that can bring in this kind of revenue, how that can change the entire economics of your business? What I'm telling you is that don't focus on just selling products in the few hundred dollars range. It's, it's all very well and good to sell those, but the big money that you're going to make in this industry is top tier, top tier direct sales, selling high ticket programs. You will get a lot fewer sales, but they will be worth a lot more. Okay, and great, the eBooks have arrived, so let's hand out those I Am, I Am Revolution eBooks too. What, what are you guys? You're, you're all going to get one. You'll all get one. We brought, like, we brought quite a few. Here's what I understood, guys. People want to buy, right? People want to buy. People want to spend big money. And this is what you have to understand in this niche. People, especially in this niche, internet marketing, people love to buy. They buy course after course after course. There's always going to be buyers. And they will spend big money. But here's the thing, and this is, this is really important. Pay attention to this. In your business, there are three ways in which you can make more money, okay? Three ways. You can get more customers. Now, if we were to walk out these doors and walk along and find some little deli and find some, like, brick-and-mortar business, most of those businesses, if you go to the business owner and you say, well, what's, how, how could you make a lot more money in your business? What are they going to say? They're going to say, get more customers. I need more customers. That is the first response for most business owners when you ask them that question, how to get more money. It's also the worst response. It's also the response that business owners who don't get it will give to you first. The best business people, they understand that there's actually two other ways to make more money in business that are much, much easier and much more profitable. One of them is to increase the frequency of purchase, okay? Get people to buy more. So if you're at a deli, if you're selling whatever, Cokes, rather than getting more customers, get people to come back more and more. And for $20, what's, what's the third one? Someone yell it out. Who said more expensive items? Yes, yes. Increase, come, you can get $20. Increase the transaction size, right? The third one, increase average transaction size. Those are three things that you can do. All right. So three things that you can do. Get more customers, the most expensive one, because you have to pay to get new customers. You've got to pay for new traffic. Once they're on your email list, though, they're there. It doesn't cost you that much to send an email. They're there. Okay? You can increase the frequency at which they buy. That's why if you're on my list, I keep on promoting offers to you, don't I? Okay? I want you to buy more. I want to help you in different ways. But I also have an ascension model. I also have higher ticket programs. They start at 